We're going to get into a bit more detail now on methods and integrations. So this is the sort of high level slide that I showed you before. And we can see that we have our users, our published API, and then we have the method request, the integration request, then we hit the endpoint, and then the data that's returned goes via the integration response, the method response, and then back to the end user or application. So remember that the method request, this is where you define your HTTP verbs that are applicable for that API gateway and that particular resource, because remember, these are created within a resource. Then you can configure the integration request to map the request parameters of the method request to whatever format is required by your backend. And there's a few different types of integration requests, such as AWS, HTTP, HTTP proxy, Lambda, Lambda proxy, and mock, which we used in the last lesson. After the data is then processed and returned, it then goes through the integration response. And here you can either pass through, which is what happens when you use a proxy, or you can actually modify, convert, transform in some way that information. So that includes mapping the status codes, headers, and the payload received from the back end into a format for the client. And then you can also modify HTTP status codes, response bodies, and other things in the method response. And then it's actually returned to the client. So it's quite complicated, but let's have a look at some basics. You don't really need to know a huge amount of detail about how to do things like mapping status codes and headers or transforming data. But I'm gonna show you some examples anyway so that you can get a good understanding of how it all works. So before we head into the console, we're gonna do a bit more theory. So remember that a method represents the client facing interface by which the client calls the API to access the backend resources. The method resource then gets integrated with an integration resource. A method request is the public interface of a REST API method in API Gateway, and it defines the parameters and body that an app developer must send in requests to access the backend through the API. And then your method response is the public interface of a REST API that defines the status codes, headers, and body models that an app developer should expect in responses from the API. So again, coming back here, you've got your method request and your method response. You then have the integrations. So API methods are integrated with backend endpoints using these integrations. The integration request is the internal interface, and that can be for a WebSocket API or a REST API. And it's where you map the body of the route request or the body of a method request to the formats required by the backend. So back in our diagram, we're here on the integration request and we're receiving information, whether it's a REST API or a WebSocket API, and then we're mapping that information to whatever formats needed by the backend. Then we've got the integration response. So this is the internal interface and you're mapping stuff like status codes, headers, and the payload received from the backend to whatever format is gonna be returned to the client. So back in the diagram, this is the integration response and we're performing some changes to that data so that the format is correct for delivery back to the client. You can configure a few different options for your endpoints. So for instance, if you're choosing a Lambda function, you can choose whether you want to use proxy integration or not. If you use a proxy integration, you'll then see that your method requests, integration requests are there, but then your integration response is grayed out. So you can only actually configure these three guys. In a proxy, the information is proxied back. So there's no modification happening to the data. We then have a non-proxy example. So here, the information coming in the method request then needs to be mapped to the integration request and then the integration response back to the method response. So there's a bit more configuration to do. So that's it for the theory. Let's head over to the console and start creating some integrations. I'm back in the console and what I'm gonna do is just delete this resource one. I don't need this anymore. And we're also gonna delete this method and we'll just start again. So I've got my blank API called my API. I'm gonna create a method. I'm gonna choose get, okay that. And then I'm gonna choose Lambda function. And what I need to do is just create a Lambda function. So let's head over to the Lambda console. I'm in my Lambda console. Let's just create this one called my API function. It's gonna be Node.js. I'm gonna just choose this option to use an existing role. 
and I've just got a basic Lambda execution role here. So that function's created. It's just a typical hello from Lambda function. So all this does is just send a hello from Lambda. I want to just go back up here, grab my ARN, come back to API Gateway, and paste this information in here. And we're just going to configure the integration type as Lambda function. We're not going to configure proxy, and everything else is default. Now, when you OK that, it's going to say that API Gateway is going to have permission to invoke your Lambda function. So that's going to be automatically set up for you. So just click OK. So we now have our get method execution. And you can see this time, rather than mock, we've got our Lambda function on the back here. And what we can do is over here, we can click test. And we can click test. And we'll just get the response. So we get the response back from Lambda. So we've now created a Lambda function and associated it with a get method under our resource. We could also then create a new resource. Now I'm going to call this one Australian. Click create resource. We're going to create a get method again. I'm going to OK that. And we're going to create another Lambda function. So let's go back to Lambda. I'm going to call this Australian function. And again, we're just going to choose an existing execution role and create function. And all I'm going to do here is I'm just going to change this to say get A from Lambda and choose save and copy my ARN. I'm going to come back and let's paste that in there. And again, it's going to be Lambda function, not a proxy. Click on save and we're going to OK. So now if we execute slash Australian get, the response is going to be different. So now if we click on test, we get good A from Lambda. So once we've published our API, if we go to the root, we'll get a different message than if we go to slash Australian because we'll get a different greeting. So now if we published our API and went to slash, so the root, we'd get a different greeting than if we went to slash Australian. And you could create many more resources if you wanted to with different greetings. So that's all I wanted to show you in this lesson. And in the next lesson, we'll talk a bit more detail about integration types.